Hello everybody, John here, and today on To The Garage we've got a nice quick Secrets of the XK8 for you. It sort of blurs the line between secrets and a modern maintain type thing, uh, but this comes courtesy of Matt Arnold, who's a regular subscriber and contributor to the channel. Uh, Matt's actually got quite a lot of stuff that we're going to be sharing over the next few weeks and months with you guys. He's been kind enough to send in some great images that are going to help us with all sorts of things, including how to repair an ECU, which is really outside my comfort zone, and he's made it look really easy. So, um, yeah, so Matt contacted me uh, to share a problem he was having. Between us, we sort of uh, sorted it out. He did all the work. <laughs> I just was the foil for the questions. So here is Matt's bottom hose. Um, on an XK8 it feels a bit wrong because it runs across the top but it's connected to the bottom of the radiator. comes up the side and then across the top and he's got these chafing marks in the bottom that have almost cut through. You can actually see the cording in it. And what's happening is they're rubbing on, this is the top of the fan cowling, the radiator fan, and there's a little blade of plastic and it's rubbing on there. And what Matt had done is use some cable ties to basically pull the hose up and keep it out of the way of that for now until he swapped the hose over. But got in touch with me to basically say, have you got some additional clips or brackets on your car? Can you go look, compare, so we can work out why this is um, happening? And Matt is by no means a beginner when it comes to XK8. So this is a, one of the photos I sent him back of Purdy. And as you can see here, here's the bottom hose, I know it's a misnomer, uh, running above that blade of plastic. And it does look like the clip that's wrapped around it, uh, attaching the small bore pipe, maybe that's holding it up. But I assure you it isn't, I disconnected it and actually the hose doesn't move at all. And there are no additional um, brackets or clips, and yet my hose is very clear of that same blade of plastic on top of the radiator cowling. So we started trading and comparing photographs and we're coming to a conclusion that maybe um, Matt's hose was an aftermarket hose, uh, different shape, different form, and certainly the next picture would maybe give you that indication. Mine on the left, relatively straight, um, it's actually running quite low but it's not touching that uh, blade plastic. Matt's very curved and yet touching it. They do look like two totally different hoses. But actually what this comes down to is a little secret the XK8 but they're actually on a reasonable number of better quality cars if you've got OE hoses. Now I'm showing you this actually on the top hose just because it's easier to photograph. And what I want to draw your attention to is on the plastic or male pipe uh, there is a little arrow which is moulded onto it. And on the hose there is a white line that is printed onto it. And that white line in fairness won't be there if you've got a lot of the aftermarket hoses. They're only on the OE ones as a rule or at least relatively expensive pattern parts. And the idea is you line up the white line with the arrow. And the embossed marks are on the top hose, bottom hose, both ends. Um, so if you line all these up, the way that the hose twists and reacts sets the shape correctly. Um, the, the issue with the uh, hoses on the XK8 is they are quite long, they are quite shaped, and they're a very tight fit. So as soon as you put them on, rotating them or twisting them to line up with these arrows is actually quite tough. Um, so Matt actually found that it was easiest to fit the bottom hose um, at the bottom first, pushing it home best as he could, get it onto there, and then using a wrench to sort of rotate the whole thing and get it into position. But if you get these all lined up, then your hose is going to lie in exactly the way that they're intended. So here's another shot of Purdy, and again you see the, the absolute die straight run of that top hose, sorry, bottom 
hose, I'm doing it now, um, and compare that with the shot before Matt was able to sort it out on his car. Um, I know it's from a slightly different angle, but you can see in retrospect the sort of twist in the um, reinforcement in the pipe and therefore the curve in it that's forcing it forward. If you've never paid attention to the bottom of your bottom hose, you'll not know how difficult it is to get access to a line anything. This is a shot looking down on it. And you see it's behind all sorts of pipe work. There's, there's not easy access and it's tight. So Matt did sterling work in being able to rearrange these pipes and get them to sit correctly. Anyway, it is quite difficult to describe the problem when it's already fixed and we've just got still photos, etc. Um, so Matt was kind enough to put together a little PDF document that is his little storyline um, that includes these images and some text. Probably explains it better than I have rambling away. And I'm going to put that on the community tab of the channel page. So if you go to the home page of the channel, go along to community you should be able to click on that and find all sorts of bits and bobs of useful stuff, including lots of technical documents. Don't forget that Gary Van uh, Rimortel's um, XK8 Bible is on there and the link is updated. Well, sorry, the document is updated. The link should always be the right link. I think I know what I'm talking about. So uh, that's building into quite a valuable resource. And I do know that Matt has produced another PDF document that's going to support that ECU uh, discussion that will be coming up soon as well. So huge thanks to Matt and you'll be hearing more about him and his exploits as well. And if you uh, find this useful, please thank him as well. <laughs> right, that's it for today, guys. So we'll see you again very soon on To The Garage. Please subscribe, please share and look forward to your comments. See ya.